Delivery drones are a promising alternative to inefficient and congestive ground vehicles. But drones are limited by their low range and payload capacity compared to their high coverage and high throughput terrestrial counterparts. Our paper combines the benefits of both systems and presents a framework for routing a large fleet of delivery drones over ground transit networks. We have the following setup. In some city scale area, we need to control a large number of delivery drones to carry packages from the warehouses or depots to the requested delivery locations. Besides flying directly, the drones can use public transit vehicles, say a bus network, as temporary modes of transportation to save energy and increase effective flight range. We need to decide what deliveries to make, in what order, and whether or when to use modes of transit. We have to deal with several computational challenges here. We're planning routes over large time-dependent transit networks. We're subject to flight range constraints for individual drones and interaction constraints between drones and transit. The routes that we compute will depend on how we allocate drones to deliveries and dispatch depots. And of course, since there are real-world costs involved, we want to minimize a performance metric, in our case, the make span, which is the maximum delivery time for any individual package by a drone. We ran extensive simulations with two real-world public transit networks in North San Francisco and the Washington DC area, with up to 200 drones, 5,000 packages, and bus networks of nearly 8,000 stops. Our decision-making framework computes low real-world make-span solutions for most settings within a few seconds on commodity hardware and enables drones to extend their effective range by a factor of nearly four. To illustrate what that lets us do, here's a simple visualization in North San Francisco with about 80 drones. We're showing one delivery per drone here, but in practice we can execute them repeatedly over a business day. You can see how several drones use transit when convenient, and at the end you'll see some drones low on energy using the transit to get close enough to their return depot, and then flying the rest of the way.